Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at all my budget oscilloscopes and signal generators that I have been using in my videos. If you have been following the channel, you already know that in our videos, we keep using different type of diagnostic tools or oscilloscopes. Oscilloscopes are great for diagnostic purposes, but some of them are quite expensive. For some of them, you need to have a tablet or one scan tool to use the oscilloscope function. But recently, I have been using some budget oscilloscopes. I have made some videos. You might have seen those videos on the channel as well. And because sometimes some of you ask me about the differences between those budget oscilloscopes that I have used, in this video, I'm going to compare all the budget oscilloscopes and signal generators. All these devices are from F near C, and I have different oscilloscope and signal generators from the cheapest one to the most expensive one. So I'm going to explain the functions and the differences between all these devices. And I will mention the prices for each one at this moment that I'm making the video. If you're interested to learn more about any of these devices, you can find the link in the video description or the first comment down below. Before I start the video, if you guys haven't subscribed the channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe. You can support us by liking the video or sharing with your friends. The first device that we have here is the cheapest oscilloscope and signal generator from this company. The model for this one is DSO-153. This one is actually a one megahertz oscilloscope. So this is what you see on the very first page when you turn on the device. You have the oscilloscope, you have the signal generator. There's a scroll button at the top that you can use it for selecting different options. All right, for example, oscilloscope. This is the oscilloscope display when you select it. You have two connections at the top, one for the oscilloscope, one for the signal generator. It means this device comes with one channel oscilloscope and only one megahertz bandwidth. And we can see the adjustment here for the time and voltage when you are reading the waveform. But this device is recently upgraded from 153 to DSO510. The new device comes with 10 megahertz bandwidth. Even the selection page is a little different. We have the oscilloscope and signal generator. For example, if I go for the signal generator, you can select between all these signals to generate, to simulate the component that you are diagnosing. And if you go back on the main menu, on the oscilloscope, you have this page. So you see, the display on the oscilloscope is a little different as well. This one is upgraded. It comes with higher bandwidth, but surprisingly, the price range for these two were similar. These two devices right now are around 40 US dollar, very affordable. So these two are the cheapest oscilloscope and signal generator. As you see with $40, we can have a signal generator and oscilloscope at the very same time. But if you wanna go one step further, this is a device. Here we have actually three devices in one. We have multimeter, oscilloscope, and signal generator. As you see, the display of the oscilloscope is very similar to the previous one. You see the screen is very similar. Even the size is very similar. This device, which is the SD210, comes with one channel oscilloscope, and this is the signal generator. On the oscilloscope, if you go for the setting, you can adjust between AC, DC, or X1, X10 attenuation, and some adjustment for the trigger. The previous one comes with 10 megahertz bandwidth. Same story here. This one comes with 10 megahertz bandwidth. This one right now is around 70 US dollars. This is the next step if we wanna go for something better than the previous one. Oscilloscope and signal generator is very similar to this one, but it does have the multimeter function as well. But right after that device comes this one. 2C53T. This one also provides us three different functions, multimeter, oscilloscope, and signal generator. But what are the differences between this one and the other one? First of all, some visual differences on the control. As you see here, we have all the buttons, which makes it much more easier to work with. The second one, we have two channels oscilloscope here. This is for signal generator, two channels for the oscilloscope. Is that all? No. If you look at the back, this device comes with 50 megahertz. We have two channels oscilloscope on this one, and the bandwidth is higher as well. The price for this one right now is around 100 US dollar. 
if you are looking for the cheapest oscilloscope and signal generator and you are not concerned about the multimeter these two are the choices and most likely this because this one is upgraded one comes with higher bandwidth and much more stronger than the previous if you want to have the multimeter as well you can select between these two options and at that moment you need to know if you only need one channel oscilloscope or two channel oscilloscope but if you are not worried about the multimeter or if you have your multimeter right now you can go for more professional oscilloscope this one is the new tablet oscilloscope from f near c it's a two channel oscilloscope channel one channel two and it comes with the signal generator as well tablet itself is touch screen which makes it much more easier to use we have more control on the waveform for reading the waveform for adjusting the trigger for adjusting the time setting and so on and here is the signal generator so if you are not really worried about the multimeter and you are looking for a budget a little more professional oscilloscope this might be the case right now that i'm making the video the price of this device after the discount is 280 us dollar and as you see the design is quite nice as well and this is the stand so different varieties of the oscilloscope for different purposes sometimes you are inspecting something on the car and you don't really need a really professional oscilloscope something like this one is going to do the job sometimes you are looking for another devices that can do more maybe this one or in some other cases we are looking for a little more professional oscilloscope and this might be the case so i hope you guys enjoyed this comparison between all these devices that i've been using recently as i said if you are interested to learn more about any of these devices you can find the link in the video description or the first comment down below thank you very much for watching Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get the notification when we upload new videos.